Hi, everybody. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to your English class. Hi, Ruth. Good evening. Welcome. Today, everybody, today we're going to start with section five, all right? We are officially in the last week of the course, all right? Estamos oficialmente en la última semana del curso. Vamos a trabajar en la sección cinco, all right? I can't ice skate very well, all right? Ese es el tema de la sección. Today we're going to study a lot of vocabulary. We're going to practice a vocabulary learning in section four. So let's check. Ah, okay, Diana, good, don't worry. Gracias por avisarnos. Okay, so let's continue with this. I can't ice skate very well. Yo espero que ya este día que vamos a iniciar la sección cinco, ustedes hayan finalizado la sección cuatro. Right, uh -huh. exactly, Dennis, very good, excellent. Sí, pedirles por favor que ya este día iniciemos con la sección 5, porque si no ustedes se van a atrasar, y ustedes saben que aquí se les lleva un control exacto, right? El chiste es que ustedes o terminen un día antes de que finalice el curso, o terminen el mismo día del curso, para que no se atrasen en nada, ¿ok? So let's check, we are officially in class 13, oficialmente estamos en la clase número 13. So let's check. Uh, we have some information that we didn't finish last class. Tenemos esta información que no la finalizamos la clase pasada. So today we're gonna finish it, all right? Ahora la vamos a finalizar. Solo son readings para practicar. Después vamos a tener otra práctica que va a ser con los adverbs of frequency, lo cual se les va a hacer un poco más sencillo porque ya saben cuáles son, cómo se manejan. So right now let's work on this one. Ahorita vamos a trabajar en esto. La misma routine o mimic that we have, la misma eh, mímica que hemos estado siguiendo, ¿ok? Yo leo primero, usted escucha cuidadosamente a mi pronunciación y después van ustedes. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the New Year. Esa tradición de España. It's pretty similar to the El Salvador's one, right? It's bastante similar a la de El Salvador. Muchas personas comen 12 uvas justamente a las 12, creo que es que lo hacen. All right? Eh, no sé cuál será el propósito, pero aquí ellos lo hacen para que tengan buena suerte los 12 meses del, del año que viene. Okay, so that's the tradition in Spain. Let's check the next one. Vamos a la siguiente. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi. Rice cakes for a strength in the new year. All right? So they eat mochi. Mochi is como un panquecito así de arroz, right? Y eso es para fortalezas o para fuerza en el nuevo año. All right? But voy a leer los tres paragraphs uh, by myself, all right? Yo lo voy a leer y después van ustedes. Some Americans from southern states eat black eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars, all right? So they resemble the money at the end. So let's check. We're going to start with Mr. Madrid. Can you help me with the first paragraph? Me ayuda con el primer paragraph, el de Spain. Okay. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 20 grapes and midnight on New Year's. Everyone great for good luck in each month of the New Year. Excellent, thank you. Repeat after me. Esta palabra que se escribe Eva se pronuncia Eve. Eve. Mm -hmm. Right, que es víspera. Eve. New Year's okay. Eve. Mm -hmm. Eve. La víspera de año nuevo. All right, so they eat 12 grapes. So comen 12 uvas, and that's a tradition from here also. Let's get to, vamos a aprovechar, Ruth Villalta, ¿me puede volver a leer el mismo paragraph de Spain? In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight 
on New Jersey. You one grape for good luck in Ace Mount of the New Year. Excellent, thank you. Let's go to the second one. Vamos al segundo, all right? And let's have Katia Cruz. Please, me lee el segundo paragraph, el de Japan. On New Year's Day in the Jams. In Japan. In Japan, people eat mochi, rice, cupcakes. Hey. For a strange in the New Year. Excellent. Repeat after me. A strength. A strange. Excellent. Thank you. No le agregue el Y al final porque strange es raro y este es strength de fuerza. A strain. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go with. Vamos a pedirle a Jamile Sportillo. Me hace el favor de leer el segundo paragraph, el que está basado en Japan. Okay. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat much rice cake for a strain in the New Year. Excellent. Thank you. Yes. So they eat mochi, right? That's their cake. Let's go with the third paragraph. Vamos con el tercer y último paragraph. Let's have Cesar Ponce, please. Read it. Okay. Some Americans from Southern State eat black egg, peas, and rice, which coir greens, the black egg, peas are like coins. And the greens are like dollars. Excellent, thank you. And let's have Daniel Lopez, please, the same paragraph. Some American, Americans from Southern State eat like a piece and rice with color green. The black ice are like coins and the greens are like dollars. Excellent, thank you, sir. Very good, all right, listen up. Teacher, is this information only for us to practice our reading? Eh, teacher, ¿y esta información solo es para que practiquemos el reading? No, it's general information. Acuérdense que están aprendiendo un segundo idioma y eso equivale a también saber información general de las tradiciones que se llevan a cabo, no solamente en ese país, sino que alrededor del mundo, right? Con esto usted ya tiene algo de que hablar con alguien si quiere practicar. Pueden hablar de las traditions of New Year's Eve. All right? ¿Qué hacen las personas en la víspera de Año Nuevo? You have a topic to speak with someone. All right? Con esto lleva un, un tema de, del cual pueden hablar con alguien. Son datos generales, cosas importantes, porque antes creíamos que solo en, en El Salvador se hacía eso de las 12 uvas. Ahora no, se sabe que en España también se hace. Y probablemente de ahí comenzó. All right? So there you go, those are the things that you need to handle. Now, let's check to adverbs of frequency. Nos vamos a los adverbios de frecuencia, como les dije al principio de la clase. Esto lo trabajamos la semana pasada, creo que desde el miércoles o el jueves, around. Así que estas sentences ya están formadas, right? No hay a dónde perderse, no hay a dónde complicarse. Usted solo tiene que recordar la estructura de las oraciones con los adverbios de frecuencia, right? Dice la instruction, rewrite the complete sentence using the adverb in brackets in its correct position. El adverbio lo tiene en los brackets o también conocidos como parentheses, right? Ese es el adverbio de frecuencia que usted va a utilizar en su oración. So, You have a lot of time. Tenemos bastante tiempo para trabajar esto, all right? Recuerden que esta semana solo trabajamos la sección 5, ¿ya? Entonces tenemos tiempo para practicar los temas anteriores que hemos estado viendo. So let's work on it. Pueden trabajarlo en su cuaderno o en un documento Word, o si lo quieren hacer mental, it's okay.
Ok, one more minute and we're going to start sharing. Un minuto más y vamos a iniciar a compartir las respuestas. All right. All right, are you, have you finished? No, yes. Yes, all right, good. So let's get started. Number one, la primera, pues sería la número uno, right? Number one, Ruth Villalta, what do you have on it? He often listens to the radio. 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 Excellent, Ruth. Thank you so much. Um, let's listen to Katia. What you got in number two? Um, the radio, radio or book sometimes. They read. Read sometimes. A book. They read a book. a book sometimes. They read a book sometimes. Mm -hmm. All right, very good, yes. ¿Qué otra opción? Vaya, veamos esto. Katia dejó el sometimes al final. ¿Qué otra opción tenemos, César Ponce, en esa? They sometimes read a book. Excellent, thank you. Daniel López, ¿qué otra opción tenemos para esa de sometimes? Sometimes they read a book. Excellent, sir. Very good. Thank you, the three of you. All right. A los tres que participaron, excelente. Gracias. Quiero que vayan conociendo esto, porque ya lo habíamos hablado, ¿verdad? Que el sometimes puede ir antes, al final, or in the middle. Así que, good that you handle this information. Qué bueno que ustedes sí manejan eso. Let's go to the next one. Number three. Fernando, what you got in number three? Pete never get angry. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Pete never gets angry. Nunca se enoja, right? Let's check uh, Denis Madrid. What you got in number four? Tom. Tom usually is very friendly. Mm, excellent. Thank you. Now, let's check the next one. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Denise. Let's check the next one in... ¿Quién más? Yamilet, number five, please. Creo que sería el número cinco. Sí, número cinco. I... I think sometimes take a sugar in my coffee. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I take sugar in my coffee. ¿Qué otra manera podemos ponerlo, Fernando? ¿Qué otra manera podemos usar? I sometimes take sugar in my coffee. Excellent. And the last way, Denis Madrid, y la última manera en la que podemos usarlo, Denis. Ya lo usaron al principio, ya lo usaron después del I. Ahora, ¿qué nos queda? Sería 
I take sugar in my coffee sometimes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Y le dejo el punto, Denise, o le agrego coma. Tendría que agregarle coma. Coma, exactly. Thank you so much. That's correct. You need to add a coma. Great. Excelente. Let's go to number six. Cesar Ponce, what you got for number six? Ramon? Ramon and Frank often are hungry. All right. Let's check this one. Encontramos otra exception. All right. Ramon and Frank are, are often hungry. All right. ¿Qué sucede? Aquí. Recuerdan ustedes que con el verb to be podemos utilizar los adverbs of frequency, all right? Eso lo hablamos la clase pasada. Lo que sucede con el adverbio de frecuencia es que este se va a posicionar después del verb to be. Ramon and Frank are often hungry, all right? Ramon and Frank are often hungry. Teacher, pero eso no nos lo enseñó, all right? Para eso lo están viendo ahorita con un ejemplo, porque eso no forma parte de la platform, all right? Esto es como una excepción. El inglés así funciona, mis queridos participantes. Hay muchas cosas que usted la va a aprender por medio de los libros de gramática, por medio de vídeos, pero ya solo practicándolos va a ver usted que hay otras options de las maneras en las cuales usted puede desarrollar algo. Ok, that's the only way. So let's check the next one. Thank you, Cesar. Let's go to Daniel López. Number seven, my... My grandmother always goes uh, for a walk in the evening. Excellent, thank you. Evening, evening. Let's check. Um, yes, exactly. Let's go, Dennis. Do you have a question? Yes. Sí. Esta sección que nos acaba de decir eh, se aplica solamente en en este pronombre. Este otro, en el often, sí. No, se aplica, Denis, con todos los que lleven verb to be. Con toda la oración que usted utiliza, vea que hay un verb to be, va a ir después del verb to be el adverb of frequency. All right, por ejemplo, esa que dice Tom okay. is, tendría que mm -hmm. decir Tom is usually very friendly. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Now, let's check the next one. Right. Excellent. Thank you, Cesar. Okay, let's check the next one, everybody. Let's go to Walter. Let me hear you, Ruth, what you got for Walter. Walter helps... Y usual, his father in the kitchen. Mm, ok, aquí ya no tenemos verb to be, por ende, ¿a dónde tendría que ir usually? Después de his. Walter usually helps his father. Ah, sí, perdón. Mm -hmm. Seguimos quedo... la misma estructura, yes, very good. Thank you, Ruth, excelente, all right. Sí, aquí... No hay mucho donde perderse, everybody. Usted tiene el verb to be. Ah, entonces yo coloco mi adverbio frequency después del verb to be. No tengo el verb to be. Seguimos con la estructura clave, que es subject, adverbio frequency, and the rest. ¿Ok? Let's go to the next one. Vamos a la siguiente, Katia. They. They watch, they never watch TV in the afternoon. Excellent, thank you. And the last one, Daniel Lopez, please. Christine never smokes. Excellent, all right, she never does that. Nunca lo hace porque sabe que es malo. <laughs> ok, very good job, everybody. Thank you so much. Excelente. Hicieron esta práctica en una excelente manera porque supieron cómo utilizar el sometimes. Por fin averiguaron qué sucedía entre el verb to be y los adverbs of frequency. 
algo que no habían estudiado, pero por medio de los ejemplos se dieron cuenta dónde lo van a colocar, and that's great. Eso es autoaprendizaje también. Now, let's check to a sports system in the U.S. and Canada. Recuerden, esta palabra U.S. es United States. Bueno, esos acrónimos, right? United States. Si tuviera la A, diría United States of America. Pero como no la tiene, solo decimos U.S. All right? Let's check what's the vocabulary that we have. Veamos qué vocabulario tenemos. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football. Go bike riding. No me vayan a decir reading. Go bike reading. Porque reading es leer. All right? Y este es riding, de montar. And go hiking. Go hiking. Luego vamos, in the winter, people play hockey. Play basketball. Go ice skating. Go skin, skin, all right? So let's check, uh, who wants to go first? Do I have a volunteer? Tengo un voluntario que me quiere dar el vocabulary ahorita. Great, Jacqueline, excellent. Todo, Jacqueline, de todas las temporadas, desde spring hasta winter. Okay, teacher, no es no me equivoco. In the spring, people play play golf, play soccer. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis. Play volleyball, go swimming. Mm -hmm. In the winter, people play ho hockey, play basketball, go ice, ice skating, 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 skating. Mm -hmm. and go skiing. Skiing, very good, Jacqueline. Thank you. Now, let me ask you, antes de porque todos van a pasar este vocabulary, no necesito que solo usted lo utilice de manera escrita, no, quiero saber si también lo puede pronunciar. So, let me ask you, les pregunto, ¿qué significa spring? Spring, summer, fall, and winter son um, seasons, Primavera. temporadas. Ajá, exactly, Mr. Termeño, very good. Right, primavera. Fall es otoño. Summer es verano. Y winter es invierno. Ok. You need to handle that vocabulary. Tienen que er, manejar ese vocabulary. Let's check. O conocerlo, mejor dicho. Vamos a ver con la siguiente persona. Sería Daniel Cermeño, please. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall people play football, goodbye writing, go hiking. In the winter people play hockey, play basketball, go ice, Skating. Skating, skating, go skiing. Excellent, thank you, sir. Very good. Let's go with Katia Cruz. Después de Katia va Daniel López. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play bas basketball, play tennis, baseball, baseball. play tennis. Play volleyball, 
go swimming 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 go swimming swimming in the fall people play football go bike reading no riding riding, riding. go Hiking, 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 hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, mm -hmm. go ice skiing, ice skating, ice skating, mm -hmm. go skiing. Very good, excellent. Thank you. Great job. Now, let's go to the next one. Vamos con el siguiente que sería Daniel López, luego va María Yamilet y después César Ponce. Action. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the win winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Let's go, Cesar, please. Okay. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play basketball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, Play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. Very good, excellent. Let's go with Maria Jamilet, después Ricardo Omar, y después Ruth Villalta. Action, Jamilet. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating. Go ah. Excellent. Thank you. Very good job. Again. Okay, action, Ricardo. Play ball, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Let's go with Ruth. Después de Ruth va Denis Madrid y después Diana Abigail. Action, Ruth. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go by re riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play ba basketball, go ice skating, mm -hmm. and go skating. Skin. Skin. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Ruth. Let's go with the next one. A quien le tocaba? A Dennis. Action, Dennis. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the fall, people 
play football, goodbye riding, go, go hiking. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. Swimming. In, swimming. Mm -hmm. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Let's go with Diana and then with Fernando. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the fall, people play football, go bike and ride, mm -hmm. go hill or hiking. 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 In the summer, people play. Aquí no leo bien. Uh, baseball. 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 Play tennis. Play volleyball. Go swimming. Mm -hmm. In the winter, people play hockey. Play basketball. Go ice skating. Go Skype. Skin. Very good. Thank you, Diana. Mm -hmm. Great. Let's go with Fernando. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play baseball, go ice skating, go it's kind. It's kind. It's kind. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Excellent. Thank you, Fernando. All right, everybody, there you go. Everybody handles pretty well the vocabulary. Todos manejan bastante bien el vocabulary. That's good. Eso es excelente, all right? Puesto que lo van a necesitar ahorita. Uh, veamos unos guiding examples de cómo utilizar este vocabulary que acabamos de aprender. In the spring, Mary plays soccer. Soccer. In summer, my parents go swimming. In the fall, Matias goes bike riding. In the winter, I play basketball. Right? I play basketball. Notice, please, noten por favor, que en cada uno de estos estamos utilizando el vocabulary de sports seasons. All right? Sports season. Solamente cabe destacar que a estas sentencias les hace falta su comita. All right. After the sports season. So let's check. Let me hear you, Dennis. Can you read sentence number one and number two, please? Y luego three and four, Fernando. In the spring, tenemos que pronunciar la con. Okay, in the spring, Mary plays soccer. In summer, my parents go swimming. Mm -hmm. Thank you. In the fall, Matthias goes by riding. In the winter, winter, I play baseball. Yeah, I'm catching up that you want to say winter, but it's different, all right? <laughs> it's winter, very good, thank you. Now, let's check the following. Practice time. Let me see. Cesar Ponce, you let me call us instructions, please. Okay. Practice time. Number one, work individually. Mm -hmm. Number two, create at least four sentences with the vocabulary learning. 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 Uh -huh, excellent. Very Learning. Number three, compare your sen sentences with the class. Repeat, compare. Compare. Yes, excellent. Compare. Very good. Thank you, Cesar. All right, everybody. Teacher, ¿por qué tantas? Bueno, tenemos cuatro seasons. 
Así que me van a hacer una por season, right? No es necesario que utilicen todo el vocabulary de una season en una sola sentence. No, escojan un deporte y desarrollenlo en la season que les ha tocado. Yo hice una de cada season, de cada temporada, así que ustedes pueden hacer una también. It is possible. Teacher, ¿y qué tiempo gramatical vamos a utilizar? El mismo que hemos utilizado todo el periodo, right? Simple present. Disculpe, teacher, ¿ha dado alguna indicación? Perdón. Yes, Jacqueline. We are working on this practice. Estamos practicando con las sports seasons. El vocabulary que estuvimos repasando, vamos a hacer cuatro oraciones, Jacqueline. All right? Ok, gracias. Una por cada temporada utilizando los deportes. Bye, gracias. Y aquí tengo los ejemplos por si quieren seguirlos al momento de hacer sus sentences. Siempre utilizando simple present.
Okay, have you finished? Yo creo que ya todo finalizamos las four sentences. So let's get started. Um, let me hear you, Jamilet. Tell me, please, two sentences from the four that you have. Deme dos oraciones de las cuatro que usted tiene. Um, in the summer, Jenny goes ride a bike. Um, goes bike riding. Yes, sí, riding a bike. No, bike riding. Okay, bike riding. Uh -huh. Así como está aquí, bike riding. Very good, María. ¿La otra? Uh, in the spring, my husband plays golf. Great, very good, excellent. Me encanta que recordó cómo tenía que ir el verbo dependiendo de la third person. Very good. Excellent. Let's listen to Ricardo Omar. What you got? Uh, Ricardo, do you are you able to listen? <laughs> Action. Uh-huh. All right, excellent. Very good. Listen up. Te voy a apagar el micrófono porque a veces se me lo olvido, right? Pero eh, si sí están bien sus oraciones y logré entenderlas y escucharlas, pero tenemos un poquito de problema con el micrófono. Se le escucha como si viniera, no sé, a través de qué la voz, right? Como si viniera a través de un tubo, se le escucha casi, all right? So you can check up that later. Let's go with Daniel Cermeño, después de Daniel Katia Cruz. Y solo regálenme two sentences, please, all right? La actividad era que ustedes iban a hacer cuatro, pero por cuestiones del tiempo y que quiero que pasen la mayoría, solo me van a entregar dos. Action, Daniel. Ok. In the summer, Danny go swimming. Mm -hmm. Go swimming. In the fall, I could, I go bike riding. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Very good. Let's go, Katia. Después, Daniel López. In the winter, he goes, I is cutting. ¿Cómo I said no skating. 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 In the spring, they go play golf. Golf. They can stop play golf. Uh -huh. They play golf, nada más. They play golf. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with Daniel Lopez y después Cesar Ponce. Action, Daniel. In the spring, my brother plays soccer. Mm -hmm. In the fall, people in the U.S. go hiking. Excellent. Very good. Very good, Danny. Let's go, Cesar. Después de Cesar, eh, Fernando, y después Denis Madrid. Okay. In the fall, Joseph plays football. In the winter, I go ice Skating. Ah, excellent. Very good. Action, Fernando. Do I have Fernando in the class? Yes, he's there. Okay, maybe he's busy. Let's go with Denis Madrid. Después de Denis Madrid. Va Diana Mirón. Action, Dennis. In the winter, Ricardo plays hockey. Uh -huh. In the summer, my son go swimming. Excellent. Thank you. Very good job. Excelente. Solo recuerden que la palabra, y sí, ya escuché a dos o tres personas que me dijeron summer, y es summer. Summer. All right. Let's go, Diana. Después de Diana, Jacqueline Benítez. 
my brother practices volleyball and summer. Mm -hmm. All right, yes. Um, I like to bike or riding bike and and summer. All right, se dice I like riding my bike in the summer. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mary Diana. Um, Thank you, Diana. Okay. Yes, only two. Thank okay. you. Para que puedan pasar todos. Vamos con Jacqueline y después Yamilet. Okay. Um, in the fall, I go bike riding. Uh -huh, bike riding? Uh -huh. In the winter, Julian play hockey. Hockey. Uh -huh. Plays. Okay. Play al final con es. Play. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Jacqueline. Okay. Very good. Let's go with Jamilet. Ya pasé. Ah, es cierto. <laughs> en Ruth también ya pasó. <laughs> no. No, ex. Ay, que como está una está arribita de la otra, quizás por eso me confundo. I'm sorry. Action, Ruth. In summer, my father plays tennis. Mm -hmm. In the For my parents go hiking. Excellent. Thank you. Very good job, everyone. Thanks. Me encanta que supieron cómo utilizar el vocabulary y adecuarlo en tercera persona. That's great. Eso es excelente. No se les olvidó la regla gramatical para la tercera persona. Y también por ahí noté, por ejemplo, las sentences de Diana estaban, podríamos decir, geniales o bien bonitas porque ella inició primero con la activity y luego puso cuando se hacía la activity, right? Eso también es permitido. Es, era diferente, pero es muy permitido, right? Excellent. Now, let's go with the following. Vamos con lo siguiente and we finish with this. Simple present WH questions and conversation. I love sports. We have Lauren and Justin. Uh, this conversation is really funny. Lauren, so Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I play sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Whoa, you're really a good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay, very good, excellent. It's pretty much normal. All right, eso es lo normal, verlos en la televisión y no practicarlos. So let's check. Vamos a iniciar con Jamilet. Usted va a ser Lauren. Eh, Cesar Ponce, you are Justin. Action. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. That's the flavor that you need to give to the conversation. Ese es el sabor que tienen que darle a la conversación, right? Esto no es solo por salir del compromiso, sino que tienen que hacerlo, pues, como si ustedes lo estuvieran viviendo. Y ahí lo notamos en la parte del, mm, all right? No se la comieron, la dijeron, excel. César, repita después de mí, favorites. Favorites. Ok, favorites. Como si no tuviera o, favorites. Ok, favorites. Sin la o. Very good. Thank you, sir. Now, let's go with the last pair. Una última pareja and we'll finish with this. Let me have Daniel Lopez. You are Justin. Katia Cruz, you are Lauren. Action. So, Justin, what do you in the your free time? Well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, 
You are a really good athlete. We do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this, this sport. I just watch them on television. Excellent. Thank you. Very good job. Now, listen, everyone, that's pretty much it for today's class. And I will see you on tomorrow's class. Have a good night. Bye. Take night. care. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.